Welcome back, folks. Hope you're having a great week. Today, we're going to be checking out the amazing Weaver Brass Southern Tennessean. So let's dive into it. The Tennessean was one of the Southern Railway's premier passenger services, alongside routes such as the Crescent and Pelican. Beginning in 1941, it carried passengers between Washington, D.C. and Memphis, Tennessee, and had connecting services to Nashville, Atlanta, and New York City. The route initially saw great success due to the beginning of World War II, where railroads across the board had increased passenger numbers as well as increased mail contracts from the United States Postal Service. In commemoration for the beginning of the new service, the Southern Railway streamlined one of their famous PS4s. This one, number 1380. 1380 was built in 1923 by Alco and received its streamlining just ahead of the beginning of the service in 1941. Because of the onset of World War II and the rationing of materials, especially metal, it was the only Southern Railway steam locomotive to ever restrict streamlining. I highly suggest you check out my buddy Sterling or you guys better know him here on YouTube as Ravenhawk6910 because he talks in depth about the history of the train itself. But the steam locomotive would leave Washington DC's Union Station and make its way down to Lynchburg, Virginia. In Lynchburg, Virginia, the train was handed off to the Norfolk and Western Railway to Bristol, Tennessee, and was usually pulled by the NNW Jays. So 611 might have been pulling this very same train. In Bristol, Tennessee, it was handed back off to the Southern Railway for its time through Eastern Tennessee and on to Memphis in Western Tennessee. And the train was usually pulled by E6s or PA Alcos. Very interesting and a very complex train. After World War II, the ridership numbers across the board for railroads declined and so did the Tennesseans numbers. Eventually, the train ran its course and by 1965, the service was discontinued. The reason for the Tennessean being canceled in particular was because of the abandonment of Memphis Union Station. Thankfully, the station is now in use today by Amtrak. The engine that we're gonna be taking a look at today is a Weaver Gold Edition Brass Southern PS4 Pacific type steam locomotive. Originally built in 1996, this is actually a pretty rare locomotive, one of just 247 that were ever produced by Weaver, and that includes the two rail models that were made along this production run. Originally, when it was delivered from the factory, it had Protosounds, QSI, which was almost state-of-the-art for its time, but uh, in 2021, uh, it's it's not up to snuff. I highly encourage that you guys go check out my buddy Ravenhawk69's 10 video so you can hear this engine with the original Protosound QSI sounds. But uh, thanks to my buddy Sid, uh, this thing's got a little bit nicer of sounds. So what we did was is that we, I bought a Rail King Rugged Rails 280 and we stripped everything useful out of it. The motor, the soundboard, the speakers, the smoke unit, the headlights, everything. And they're all inside this locomotive. So this locomotive has been upgraded to Proto Sounds 3 and it actually has an MTH Southern Tennessean sound set. A few years ago, MTH produced a Southern Tennessean, albeit with a CNO yellow belly body painted up in the Tennessean colors, but it has a Tennessean sound set. It has a beautiful hooter whistle and I couldn't be happier with the sound set. Sid also did a bunch of other things with this engine. Like I said, he upgraded the lights to LEDs. He added some marker lights, as well as white walling the wheels, uh, which just look fantastic. Uh, if you guys are interested in getting your locomotives looked at by Sid, uh, I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description. You can talk to him from there. And once again, I just wanna give a huge thanks to Sid for doing this uh, PS3 upgrade. The engine turned out for not, what are you doing back there? <laughs> The engine turned out phenomenal and I couldn't be happier with it. But for now, let's let's run these trains around the layout. It's a pretty neat layout. RJ, what are you doing in my house? The front door is open. That's a beautiful train. Can I keep it? Eh. Let's run an NPC one instead. Mm. Maybe we'll run them together. Maybe. What do you let's think? Let's see. Awesome. <laughs> Check on that water level, will you? Swing 
that spout over. Okay, that's enough. Don't bump those side rods, will you? up is Bristol.
want to blow her down now. Clear? Clear. 